Hi all. Uh, today uh, I'm going to discuss a uh, uh, wallap model for a lateral loaded pile with a shear force of 40 kN uh, and Benny moment of 700 kN per meter and the pile diameter is 1.2 meters and pile height it's 4 meters. And in wallap model, a uh, moment of inertia is found from uh, this 5D uh, 4 to the power divided by 64 and here I'm going to assume the concrete uh, pile, both concrete pile, therefore Young modulus is 20 GPA and the soil profile is as shown here and uh, in this analysis I'm going to assume that uh, the top 0.9 meter uh, properties was uh, considered a zero uh, to uh, cons cons consider the construction disturbance. So uh, first thing you need to do is you need to uh, make a new data set and you can uh, save it as a different file. So I will save this one as a, a single uh, file analysis. So single file analysis. And uh, here you have uh, several uh, checkboxes. What you need to do is you need to fill one of uh, each of these uh, checkboxes separately. First thing, uh, first checkbox is for your units. So we are using SI units and uh, you need to insert all your uh, properties in terms of meters and kilonewton. And if you want, you can change these units. So the only thing is you need to go to help, help content and have a look here, uh, read this guideline uh, to know what are the uh, suitable units. And so here, uh, first thing is I'm going to uh, introduce my stratum. So I have two layers. First one is residual soil and second one is extremely weathered granite. So uh, the first one is starting from zero and it's going to negative two. But remember, uh, I need to define a separate layer until 0.9 meters. So I am going to have an, uh, one layer for 0.9 and I'm going to address that one as my second soil. And next one up to two and that is my third a soil type and uh, this will go up to 10 meters so my I'm doing on the whole analysis only up to uh, 10 or 10 meters uh, below the ground surface and uh, I will have three soil types so up to 0.9 it's the residual three soil layers two soil types so first layer is uh, the residual soil without properties Second one is residual soil with properties and third one is extremely weathered granite. So you need to select each of these and insert your parameters. So when you're uh, inserting these parameters, if you're selecting Australian standard, in, your, in Australian standards for file design, it says uh, if you're doing any geotechnical parameter for service, serviceability estimate limit state, you don't need to consider any uh, reduction factors for your uh, this uh, drain properties. So uh, here I'm going to use uh, the, my uh, the conventional soil properties. Mm. And first thing, uh, the this is residual soil. And the bulk unit weight is 19. And this is cohesionless soil. And uh, I'm going, I, we need to consider drain condition. And K0 uh, comes from uh, the uh, friction angle is 30. And friction uh, K0, we can find one uh, from this equation, one minus sine phi. So if our uh, angle is uh, 30, 1 minus sine 30 means uh, 0.5. So I will have 0.5 here. 
and uh, you can insert a ka value and kp value also what you need to do is click on here and then it will uh, uh, ask uh, what is the friction angle so it's uh, our friction angle is 30 insert 30 and accept here kp also friction angle 30 accept and this follows the euro code and my young modulus is uh, 35 mpa that means 35000 kpa 35000 and my poisson ratio i'm assuming as 0.3 so only thing is as i mentioned um, as i mentioned here I, I i was saying that you need to ignore this uh, first 0.9 meters that means when you are inserting these properties here, you need to ins uh, ignore them. That means you need to put uh, uh, here one. Here, uh, this property is zero. And this property KP also zero. So one minus sine zero is one. So I will have those properties, but I will have Young modulus and Poisson ratio as same. Then uh, for the second layer, that is also residual soil but it's with uh, soil properties and this is 19 and 19 um, cohesionless or consolidated drain and k0 is 0.5 and k0 will uh, not change with depth and ka value uh, you can press f1 if you want help and here you can uh, put uh, 30 and click here and accept the value K A K P again uh, F one and put thirty degrees and accept it and uh, then you need to put Young modulus it's thirty five thousand and Poisson ratio is uh, and uh, Young modulus uh, will not change with depth we assume that Young modulus will not change and Poisson ratio is point three. And third soil is uh, with that granite. So I name as granite. And it's 22. And it's cohesive soil or consolidated drain. And K0 is 1 minus sine 35. The value is 0.426. And uh, K not will ch not change with the depth, and K A value uh, we need to put uh, friction angle thirty five here, and you can accept the values, and F one thirty five accept the value, F one thirty five accept the value, F one thirty five accept your values, and drain cohesion is thirty. And cohesion will not vary with depth. Young modulus is 85,000 and zero, and Poisson ratio is 0.3. So, in here, you can see uh, you are uh, seeing some error, uh, data errors type 3 in soil stratum 3 not defined, and uh, soil type 3 in soil stratum 4 is not defined. So let's go and have a look uh, what's there. And we already defined one, two, three. And we don't, do not need this one. Uh, okay. Let's go to our initial groundwater condition. So uh, uh, yeah, assume uh, that ground water level is three meter below the ground water stream. ground surface 
So I am going to put negative three here and negative three here. And the bulk unit rate of the water is 10. You can put 9.81 as well, whatever the value you prefer. And then you need to go to here, PWP profile. This is for you to put water profile changes. Uh, but in this case, I'm not going to change my water profile. Then uh, next one is for the single pile. And the single pile will go up to negative four meters and uh, the it will automatically calculate this finite element length and the young modulus is uh, 20 gpa and moment of inertia it's 0.1018 and pile diameter is 1.2 Then uh, you need to put your uh, loads. A load will apply at the ground surface, that means zero, and your horizontal shear force is 40, and your moment is 700, and you will not have any moment resistance, and uh, you will not have any surcharge, and you will have only one stage for this analysis, that is uh, apply a load, and load type is one so if you go here load this number is one and in this stage you this one should be one and here as you can see we are i'm getting three error messages uh, soil type one has non-zero ka and kac values and not allowed in single pile analysis that means you need to go to single pile here and click here and make this value zero So next one, make Ka value zero. Here, Ka value zero, Kac value zero. So now I don't have any errors here. And uh, I will do, I will not need any factor of safety options. And I will use subgrade reaction model for that. I'm assuming that there are no tension tracks and the distance from two rigid boundaries are 20 meters and if, if you want you can change this and if you want more details you can uh, click uh, here check uh, in this uh, uh, volap guidelines how to do that one and this is the volap uh, guidelines uh, the health content what it says for that uh, single pile analysis more if you, you can have more details here and if you want uh, you can search as well here so for example if i search a rigid boundary you are getting uh, everything uh, with rigid boundary so here uh, if for example uh, what the rigid boundary means if it's a symmetric excavation so rigid boundary means uh, this line so if you have a pile here this this distance is your rigid boundary so that is 20 meters for this analysis uh, the final thing is we need output for bend displacement active pressures and we need a graphical output so i'm going to analyze this data i need to just click analyze data here. so uh, the analysis is done and i'm getting 15 millimeter deflection on the top and the red line is the shear force diagram black line is the bending moment diagram I can uh, go on here and create a report easily. So it's uh, creating a report with uh, this analysis.